Hi, I'm Andrew Trendle. You're watching Enemy. We're here at Reading Festival 2023 with Yard Act. You say Andrew Trendle? Yeah. What's the uh, etymology of your um, surname? Do you want to know? Yeah, I so do. So truthfully, in old uh, post-Norse, post-Norse, first time anyone said that, you know, like the 1100s era, yep. apparently it means round area of land. Right. Mine's Needham, and it means, uh, I always thought it meant like need food, like need ham. <laughs> I need some ham. But it's, it's like, um, it, it means need home. Yeah. Yeah, and it's like an Irish, we were like the... Uh, it's ironically, it's how we became friends. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because I needed I needed a home. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh. Like yeah. yeah, we're the uh, first official homeless uh, party. Oh wow! Yeah, you just went a bit Stephen Fry there. That's a bit a bit highbrow for you there. Anyone else know the origins of their surname? What's yours? Shipstone. <laughs> oh, I come from a, like a really bad line of boat builders. <laughs> 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 I've heard of you. <laughs> <laughs> What's Russell? Just people, people, people knocking about in the bushes. <laughs> <laughs> I know that it's uh, French. I think is Russell. It's it's right. Russell. All oh, right. Yeah. People eating loads of people eating crisps. <laughs> <laughs> Smith. Yeah, but originally on my dad's side we were Konopinski. Paul oh, changed the name because the uh, barber shop kept getting bricked. Oh wow. Yeah. Like it. Polish immigrants. <laughs> <laughs> Keep it light. Yeah, of course. <laughs> um, Welcome to, a, as you put it, a car park in Reading. Yeah, it's good to be here. <laughs> uh, apparently it's a farm, isn't it? It is a farm, uh, Little John's farm, but we just don't know what they produce it. Good times. Concrete. Concrete times. Indie bangers. Yeah. Um, but obviously you guys would have been a Leeds faithful uh, in your youth, in your pre-band days. I mean, so I'm, I'm assuming you still feel the, the spiritual importance of being here. Yeah, massively, yeah. Yeah, it's wild. I, I actually like, although I was from the north, Reading was my first festival, 2002. <laughs> Watched Pulp and the Strokes, and it was uh, Julian Casablancas had a uh, a crutch because he, don't know what he'd done actually, but uh, yeah, it was wild. 2002 was your first festival. Yeah, mine was 2001. That amazes me. I was a late bloomer. Oh. <laughs> I went the year they burned Leeds Festival to the ground. 2001, look it up. Yeah. It was our Woodstock 99. <laughs> Stay safe out there. <laughs> uh, but opening the main stage is uh, no mean feat, but you guys smashed it, especially that little, the moshers on the left or the right, as you were. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they're always grateful to the moshers. They, uh, they, bring, they bring the set to life. It gives us energy to feed off. Uh, I think it just lets you know people are having a good time. Yeah. I think everyone was having a good time. I'm really grateful to that crowd. Really cool. Yeah. Yeah, we had a great time, especially to um, Trenchcoat Museum, the new one, which went down really well. And you really shit some people up when those mannequins came to life. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, yeah, they, uh, yeah, we've, they, we've figured out how to make inanimate objects come to life and dance yeah. for a brief period. I really love that we've got professional dancers. You know what, they're, they imagine they'll be on a stage dancing. We've just got them stood bone still for 20 minutes. Can you imagine? thinking you were going to be doing that as a professional dancer. <laughs> it's kind of a flex on our part, isn't it? Because they get paid the same, but then we don't utilise their like skills. So it's kind of us saying that it doesn't, you know. No, the power is in the the power is in when you strike, not how much you strike, isn't it? I don't know if that's technically true. In a, actually, one punch could kill a man. <laughs> I stand very still when I'm playing bass. Yeah, and then when you put your foot on the monitor, everyone notices it. <laughs> Looks amazing. And uh, James, how would you describe the experience of uh, pulling a Beyonce on the main stage of Reading? What's she done? Huh? What's Beyonce done? Oh, no, I was, I was uh, complimenting your amazing choreography there. Oh, right, yeah, no, yeah, she dances, <laughs> doesn't she? Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I, um... What's she done? Yeah, I thought she was... <laughs> what the fuck yeah, is I thought I was about to be told that I'd ripped somebody off again. <laughs> um... <laughs> sounds like the fall. Yeah, sounds like oh, they're just like Beyonce. Now. <laughs> Not an original idea in their heads. <laughs> uh, have you started having dances now and doing dance moves? Because I think you'll find Beyonce's already done that. <laughs> um, yeah, I uh, I got really into it. I've never danced before, um, choreographed dance, and I think I found a new hobby. That and playing the saxophone are the two things I'm going to practice and get better at. Amazing. Uh, was it nice being carried by them? 
Yeah, it was it was really nice. Yeah, it looks it looks amazing. Yeah, Christ-like. Yeah. Uh, so next album, you're gonna go full Gaga, pyro, dancers. Uh, yeah, I mean, the dancers. I think pyro. Pyro's. I'm not into pyro. I think it's, it, it's five grand a pop, isn't it? Yeah, we found out how much it costs, basically. <laughs> Uh, speaking of the next record, last time we spoke, I think you said you were going to lay down either a, I can't if it was a choir or an orchestra, and that the album number two was within touching distance of being done. Mm. Yeah, yeah, choir, is, yeah, gospel choir, string sections, flutes, everything on it. Yeah, it's and finished. And you said uh, it was about getting everything you ever wanted, and then realizing that the same misery and problems exist. The point remains, yeah. <laughs> Amazing. Um, when do you reckon we can hear the next taster of it? I believe sometime between the beginning of September and the end of next summer. With the new single, so new single September, yeah? Uh, between. Possibly, yeah, <laughs> sometime between September and next June. Amazing. Nah, I reckon like maybe like October. So that's non-stop, like on the road to the end of the year, music out all the time. Have you had a holiday lately? We have a holiday in Jay's house. Jay's built a studio in his house, so yeah, that's our <laughs> holiday. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. No. What? In Jay's house? You've been on holiday with Harmony to Jay's house. <laughs> yeah, we've kind of been just doing stuff behind your back. Yeah, I know you do that, I know. I just, <laughs> I blank it out. Um, no, we went to Japan for a week as a holiday after we played a gig there. We used we used the gig as an excuse to pay for our flights. Not out of our own. Well, it is out of our own pockets, isn't it? We're businessmen now. We're joint. We're a partnership in Yard Art Limited. But, um, no, after that, we just had a week in Tokyo and it was gorgeous and really relaxing. Like, neon everywhere. One of the busiest cities in the world. Really loud, loads of traffic. Really, it was lovely. Amazing. And uh, from Japan to Reading, how are you going to spend the rest of your day? Who are you seeing next? Say, I've ju we've just seen Last Dinner Party. They were really good. And I think, who was saying, I mean, I'm up for it as well. Well, Egg, Loyal Connor, Sam Fender, <laughs> Foles. Yeah, great, great time. Did you get to catch that? I never know how that in between -y day works. Did you get to see the killers or are you in between <laughs> we can yeah we can see the killers on sunday at least right yeah we 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 we're doing a silent disco oh well on sunday so we're going to yeah we've got one afternoon off and then we'll go and uh, dj and watch the killers yeah. you love the killers right yeah, i l I, l I think sam's town is one of the greatest records ever made yeah hardcore agree yard act enjoy the rest of your weekend nice one, mate. thanks for your time cheers guys right.